Okay, so I got my 800W yesterday in the mail. Blam. Uh, it's roughly the same size of, the, of my mogul as, as well as its predecessor. Only difference is it's supposed to be thinner. Um, but what's killing me right now is it's it, it's a damn near the same size. It, I feel like I'm lying saying it's thinner than the previous trio. But look at the batteries. The battery, this was a higher capacity battery. And that, that's from the 700W. And you will figure since the, uh, the 800W uh, has uh, Wi-Fi as well as GPS, more wireless features, and the instant messenger that you will want to use more battery. So you, you figure they give you a bigger battery or a higher capacity. The Mogul has a higher capacity battery too. Yeah, sure, the Mogul's battery is a little bit uh, uh, bigger. But it, it, you know, that's they they uh, move the camera up, so you know the, the camera down here is you know lower and or more centered. But the uh, the camera they move the uh, camera up so they can have put a bigger battery in there, even though the battery doesn't last. Um, another big problem I have with the new uh, uh, trio is micro USB. Yeah, they switched from the proprietary um, dock, which is good, you know, because you had to have a separate dock for a charger and a separate one to, to uh, hook it up to your computer, which was fucking stupid. But I still like the phone. Um, but uh, they, they switched to a micro USB as opposed to a mini USB, um, which would be more convenient, as well as the fact that you have to do everything out of there you have to put headphones in there and you know they could have they could have just had a separate headphone jack um what else oh yeah the screen is more washed out than uh other phones this is this is a higher uh, uh definition than than um the 700 wx but you know the the other screens are brighter like the screen on the mogul is brighter and um, the screen on the Instinct is brighter. So far, this has not been as stable as the 700WX, which, in my opinion, is the most stable Windows Mobile phone that I've ever came across. And it's sad because Palm normally makes Palm. Another problem I'm having with the 800W is that it does not run a lot of Windows Mobile software. Given the 700WX didn't run a lot of Windows Mobile software, but it ran more than the 800W. And that's because this 320 by 320 screen is not recognized by a lot of software. So when you're trying to play uh, some, when you're trying to load up some software to say uh, screen resolution not recognized, then it won't, uh, it won't run at all won't even try to run and some of the stuff that it will run like let me show you this see it's running a program but it's not taking up the entire screen it's only going across two by 240 pixels because that's what windows is recognizing the only 240 so but getting to the good things about the phone is a lot to love about it like i really like the design I know it's like a you know a lot of people say don't may not like it or you know call it ugly, but I like it. I like the way the buttons feel. Sometimes they're they're kind of a little stiff, but I you know it's not any worse than the uh, 700WX. Um, the 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 uh, direction pad is easier to use than the moguls. Um, I like these all these buttons, even though I have to kind of get used to them because the soft buttons are right here and I'm used to them being a different color than the rest of the phone like let me see I see or not a different color but they stand out more you know right there blam blam um, but yeah when you look at the keypads and you know which one looks easier do the one with all the big buttons or the one where the buttons kinda just are mushed together and 
very thin and this this shit is hard to use. Like the little soft keys, you gotta really get used to that. But one thing the Mogul does have is a brighter screen. You get really white whites on, on the Mogul, really bright white whites. This one's looking more washed out, but it does have a higher resolution. Another thing I have to acknowledge Palm for is keeping the same form factor. A lot of people knock them for it like, you know, why don't you guys switch it up and change it up? Okay, because people who had palms, they got used to the keyboard. They want the keyboard because it's so easy to use. You got a full QWERTY keyboard that you could use with one hand. So you could just, you know, text message people, call people with one hand. It's easy to use. Blah, 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 you know. Um, as opposed to like a lot of phone companies making all of their phones look like iPhones, like iPhone clones, like a half-assed version of iPhone. Um, you have to acknowledge Palm for just keeping, sticking to the formula that's worked for them. Um, it might, you know, this phone may not be for everybody, but to the people who've had it before, you know, they want it, they want another phone like this, you know, they get used to it and they want a phone with a, you know, that's easy to use as the trio. Oh yeah, and I forgot, before I forget, the stylus they give you is shitty too. It's plastic, it's bendable, it's breakable, it feels like it's going to fall apart every time you use it, as opposed to the 700W that had uh, an aluminum stylus, which I gave away. I like the Messenger on here better than other Windows mobile phones because, let me show you that, it it's like a it's like an instant messenger it's like you feel like you're on AOL or something is it's uh it shows you the whole conversation that you've been having with this person it shows you if they put a smiley face it shows it as a smiley face it has the instant uh replies which every mobile phone ha windows mobile phone has but um it just looks better on here my overall opinion on the phone is that it is very expensive if you don't have a two-year agreement you'll be paying about six hundred dollars as the software is not as stable as the 700 wx the battery isn't as capable as the 700 wx or even the mogul but i'm expecting the the software to to get an update and they'll probably have an extended battery which will make your phone bigger around this area uh, it's hard to find cases for it, but you know, they're going to be putting out cases. Uh, I called Palm and they said within the next two weeks to have a case for it. And it's harder to find software for the phone because of the screen resolution and the screen size. But what this phone does, it does well. They got a lot of extra software that, you know, come bundled with the phone. It's responsive, very, very, very responsive. It has a lot of uh, program memory, way more than something like the Mogul. It has a high resolution screen, even though it may seem a little more washed out when you compare it to something like the Mogul. And this is a solid addition to the Sprint PDA phone lineup. I like it, I'm keeping it. I'm waiting for a little upgrade from Sprint to uh, improve the stability of the software. I know it's coming. Uh, Palm would not let us down because this is a very expensive phone. Given this was more stable when I got it, but I got it like a few months after it came out or one month after it came out. So they probably already had updates and all of that. So when it first came out, it might not have been as stable as it was, okay? so. When I say this is not as stable as this, this may have been more unstable than this. And then they just gave it a little update. So I know the update is coming because Palm wouldn't let me down. And don't let me down, Palm. Don't let me down. There's something else that Windows Mobile users have to get used to. I do believe this has to do with the um, whole um, Windows 6.1 thing. Remember, uh, in memory, there used to be three columns. It was main memory, storage card, and running programs. There is no running programs tab, so they have a little um, 
you go to the program, um, you go to the programs, and there's something called the, 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 the task manager. And you have to close all your programs through there. Or you can do like I did and get a third party uh, uh, task manager, which you press the X, and instead of just leaving, it closes it out. Um, I'm going to um, put a bunch of software that I find out that works for this. I'm going to put it on my website. Um, I'm going to test it first. And if you guys come across a program that works on it, um, you can add it to the forum so people who have this phone will know what software to go for. Uh, and that's all I have to say.